Hey everybody, we're here for a new episode of the show that has yet to be named. Today we're talking top five favorite Star Wars characters for May the 4th. Uh, yeah, Revenge of the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. You know, we're just out here in the streets. The four in, Horsemen. Yeah, Cinco, so what is Cinco de Cuatro. What is it in uh, Arrested Development? <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm here with uh, Putty Man and JD. I don't know where I'm pointing. They're there somewhere. J- uh, Caps is directly under me. Which is Ooh, how I like it, um, and well, like, let, 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 I'll fix my screen then. How about that? <laughs> let yeah. me just let me fix my yeah. screen. Uh, so, salud. Uh, salud. I I pre just before pressing record for this video told them that uh, we're not listing a million honorable mentions. Uh, once I, wrote, we, I'm, I wrote a million. I know I you I did that. This this was this was specifically <laughs> to shut you down, and then secondarily wow. to shut JD down. Mm-hmm. So. Because I'll uh, just mention every character. Yeah, I'm just, that's I, I a, I'm basically, but, yeah, that's... So the way we're going to do it is we'll list our five. You can have as many caps as you want. We're not going to put a limit on it. And then uh, you'll have your main honorable mention. Then you can mention another one later. But then we, we, we're just going to try to talk about the list more than just naming people. So uh, to get it started, caps, you can go first. All right. Um, my number five is Leia. Return of the Jedi, Leia. <laughs> Specifically yeah, I, the I'm, outfit, right? I'm so glad Cap said that because we're going to be having the same situation happen right, later right. on too. So I didn't specify any specific movies. Of course, specific, I didn't either, but I have but... one one character that I have a specific for. But I do too. Uh, JD, go ahead. Uh, my number five, I went full on triple on this one, and they kind of <laughs> go hand in hand. It's uh, Boba Fett, Mando, and Grogu. Parky. Okay, so for my number five, it's kind of like a line JD, but I didn't, uh, I didn't put uh, the Mando. My number five is Yoda and Grogu. Okay, acceptable. Uh, my number five is Lando <laughs> Calrissian and Chewbacca Calrissian. He's smooth. <laughs> Chewbacca Calrissian, I love it. Um, <laughs> my number four is Darth Vader. Uh, number four is tied for me again. It's a folk, it's uh caps, it's uh tied with Jin Erso and original trilogy Yoda specifically. All right, me, yep. Okay, my number um four um is uh again caps. I even added to my third one, but my number four is Ahsoka and Obi Wan Kenobi. All right, uh, my number four is General Grievous and Darth Maul. Uh, my number three is the Emperor Darth Sidious Palpatine. I like it. My number three caps again Han Solo and Chewie because they go hand in hand. That works. Yep. Okay. So, you know what? I, I'm just adding just because you said that. Sorry. And this is going to be a tri- triple cap on this. Sorry. It's going to be Darth Revan, Darth Vader, and Darth Maul. The three Darths I love. So. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, my number three is uh, the Mando uh, caps. This is my last caps with Darth Vader. Okay, but I want to be very specific here. Only Darth Vader. No. Absolutely no Anakin Skywalker at all. It does now, not exist in my is universe. Pod racing. Yeah. yeah. In my universe, there's it, just Darth Vader. He was born as Darth Vader, and he still is Darth Vader. So, uh, my number two. Uh, another specific here, Jedi Master Luke. <laughs> Not the whiny, cryny New Hope version? <laughs> but I was going to go to Tashi Station and pick up some power converters. Oh, you hilarious. know what? He's like Marty McFly on a... Well, st- <laughs> I know we're going to go <laughs> back, but I just got to say this. On a I blue milk how, I love how until his day, everyone defends Luke. And I'm like, dude, every character has been whiny so far in the Luke, the Skywalker family. We're just going to say it, right? Oh, yeah. Luke was just as whiny as Kid Anakin. Oh, and then when you find out that Ray's a Skywalker. <laughs> it makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. We uh, so uh, my number two, once again, uh, this is the last caps of the list. And it's uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Any Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon yeah, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Heavy duty boo on Qui Gon, but continue. He has a special set of skills. So I, I did. I, I even though I added, I didn't want to cap my the last two. I just feel like I should do it. So my number two. By the way, I'm going to say this: my two and number one, literally just OG trilogy three, three. I mean four, five, and six. Okay, for these two, 
And that is number two, Princess Leia. Only original trilogy. That's, I'm going. That's as far as I'm saying. She was only. She in doesn't here. really get any worse in the new one. So just like not. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really She's count. Not bad, but I mean, it's, it's it's more flawed to the movies themselves. But we'll get to that later. Yeah. Well, but that's what I mean. Well, that's why I want to talk about this. I think there's stuff to talk about. Yeah. yeah. Um, my number two is Obi Wan Kenobi. And for my money, the best character in Star Wars. But it's actually the best character from both mm-hmm. sides, prequels but, and yes, thing. and hopefully the show. But uh, my number one is here for its purpose, and I will get to that when we get there. Mm-hmm. Uh, my number one is Yoda. Always has and always will be Yoda. That, that, don't Frank Oz I Yoda. Know. Yes, Frank Oz is the only Yoda. Yeah. Uh, puppet not, Yoda, specifically yeah, puppet. puppet. But, but um, the Frank Oz like delivers voice for uh, yeah. the uh, the prequels. I yeah. believe so. Yeah, yeah, he did. It was Frank Oz. Yep. Um, my number one original trilogy, like you said earlier, it's Darth Vader. Anakin does not exist in this universe. It's specifically four, five, six, and the tail end of Rogue One. Darth I will Vader. even accept. No, Darth Vader. But just anything <laughs> before that, it doesn't well, exist. Well, you got to give credit to Rogue One. Darth Vader and Rogue yes. One, yeah, they yeah, made him a badass. Yeah, yeah, I like it. And we're going to get to see him, hopefully, in uh, some Obis. Yes. yes. Exactly. Oh, I could, uh. um, okay, so my number one, again, this is all based on the original trilogy. And uh, everyone that knows me knows it's my trifecta. Number one, Boba Fett. Original, right. not the new you series. You all Boba made Fett. the wrong choices here. <laughs> and so my number one, and, and this is going to seem like really, because there's not acting involved here, but the, the most important character is Jar Jar Binks. R2-D2. <laughs> R- R2-D2 is by far the most recognizable mm-hmm. and most important character in I all agree. of Star Wars. He saves people's lives hey, on multiple you didn't occasions. Ask us, you didn't ask us the most important. You asked our favorites, bro. Yes, but that's, right. he is my favorite as well. The reason okay. I would say... Obi-Wan is only my number two because of that. I think Obi-Wan is the actual best character when it mm-hmm. comes to characters. But my favorite is R2-D2, and that's why. Because he gets so overlooked as he's the most important person. He saved Luke. Like, without saving Luke, mm-hmm. we don't. Luke doesn't save the universe. So, you know. But, I mean, in it, every film, he's cameras. really, Sorry, like, on. yeah. No, I, I can agree with that. In every film, he has an yeah, important and role. And it's like, even and in the even in in Mando. The, in the sequels, when he pops up, everybody cheered. Yeah, well, that was the moment when everyone was like, "Oh, it's R two D 2 Apple's taking these. You're getting a <laughs> uh, I got excited. Yeah, I would get it on with an R two D two bot. And if he were Latino, he'd be Arturito. Well, I like that name better, actually. Too soon. Too soon. Okay. If he was a chip, he'd be R Dorito. Okay, so, uh, uh, guy, uh, Nick Caps, read your list. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, number five, Leia. Number four, Darth Vader. Number three, the Emperor, uh, Darth Sidious, Palpatine. Number two, Jedi Master Luke. And number one, Yoda. Uh, number five, Boba Fett, uh, Mando, and Grogu. Number four is uh, Yoda and Jin Erso, specifically original trilogy Yoda. Uh, number three mm-hmm. was Han Solo, Chewbacca. Number two was Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. And number one was Vader. Okay. Uh, number five, uh, and I didn't know we could add this, but that's the reason why I said it now. Uh, number five for me would be Yoda and Grogu and original Yoda, of course. Um, uh, number four, uh, uh, Cap, Ahsoka, uh, Tano, and uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Number three, Cap Triple, Darth Revan, and Darth Vader and Darth Maul. Uh, number two, Princess Leia. Number one, Boba Fett. All right. So for me, I have number five, I have Lando and Chewbacca. Uh, number four, I have General Grievous and Darth Maul. Number three, I have Darth Vader, born as Darth Vader, dies as Darth Vader, <laughs> and the Mando. Uh, number two, I have Obi-Wan. And number one, I have R2-D2. If you just came for the list, that's a list. Uh, take a hike. And uh, May the force be with you. Let's May go into honorable mentions. Um, I'll yeah. go first because I like me. Uh, I'm going to say as much as I, I really thought about this. Uh, I'm going to say Luke. Luke Skywalker. Um, because I think he's just such an important part of the universe that it's not that I don't, I I do like him, but I don't feel like he belonged on my list, but like he does belong in an honor as an honorable mention, which is good. I'm just going to take off whatever you guys say anything I've already said that, you know, that way I can actually do ones that I want that you guys haven't said. So perfect. All right. So who wants to go next? 
I'll throw it out there. Um, my number one honorable mention, you've already mentioned already. Um, so I don't want to repeat that, which was Darth Maul. So I'm going to go with Admiral Akbar. Nice. What a trap. Is that Admiral Akbar? <laughs> yeah. It's which is funny too because you guys are now dwindling my honorable mentions so this good is that's what you wanted wasn't it yeah yeah exactly oh okay for me so i'm gonna throw this well, one hold out on, wait let's see if caps takes one from you all right go ahead i actually um, want you guys to go ahead go ahead please okay i mean i'll mention something from the new movies um probably the most interesting character the only one in my eyes is kylo ren cut, my cut, that, cut that cut that editor I, that's why he's an honorable mention but at least he is good between him and ray they're at least decent but just the characters not the movies i had a problem with ray really <laughs> sorry yeah. no i get it i liked i like <clears throat> force awakens ray i do not like the later Rays. i like looking at ray <laughs> i also like looking at oscar isaac so you know it's really <laughs> yeah, i'll take a little <laughs> poe dameron uh a little uh a little I, listen right i really wish they went for the gay storyline between Poe and, oh, and Finn, and Finn, because yeah. it made so much sense with the where it was going, and then it was just like, nope. Uh, then there's that little side uh, piece he went with that Asian girl there. Yeah, it would have made more sense. It would have gave depth to the story, I think. Anyways, Putty, yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna mention this one because I don't think it's gonna be on your guys' list, and I actually put it on top as a joke, but I'm gonna say it. Jerk. Will Rowhood. Everyone knows. Red everyone Hood? knows. Uh, Will Rowhood. I don't know anything about Star Wars. I hate Star Wars. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Only, I mean, you know what? I'm going to leave it there. I think JD knows who I'm talking about. I'm going to leave yeah. it there. And then if no one knows who it is, look it up because it's a deep cut to really big Star Wars fans. And that's all I'm going to say. So we'll move on. All right. Sounds like a band from the. 70s. Oh, no. It's just one of those things that if you're a huge Star Wars fan, you know who that is. And then you're laughing your butt up right now going, oh, my God, I can't believe you said that. I don't that's get it. All right. So I'll tell you my uh, next guy that I just have on my paper. And it's the most important person in all of Star Wars. And no, it's not E.T. in the Senate scene. <laughs> it is Salacious Crumb. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the greatest character in I all of Star Wars. I love the song they made about him, too. There's so much lore <laughs> to this character that has no screen time whatsoever. There's an entire following of people that have built the lore for this character. I wish they would. I, I thought for sure he was going to return for Boba Fett. I thought for sure he was going to too, and I didn't, you know. But yeah, hey. maybe season two. Well, they mm -hmm. had a, they had a, they had one of those uh, monkey thing guys roasting on a spit in an episode of Mando. Maybe. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I don't think that's. I hope that's not him. Oh God, please don't let that be him. <laughs> but he's like, I ate some of that. Please don't be him. <laughs> I know, man. I do. <laughs> I ate some of that, man. How dramatic. Salacious uh, crumb, right down to the last crumb here. Anybody yeah. else? Uh, there, 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 this was one of my major honor mentions on top. So if you don't mind if I say it, uh, IG-88. I like a lot more of IG-88's backstory in the comic books and things. So I like that character. He didn't get much love in the prequel. I mean, the original series, but he's a really deep character. And we got a, a form of IG-88 in The Mandalorian, which was still pretty badass. So, yeah, I got to throw it out there. IG-88, badass. Okay. I'll throw one out there, too. I got Captain Rex from The Clone Wars. Oh, uh, that, that's another one on my list. Right yeah, Captain Rex was such a great character. He broke away from the whole clone. Like, he wasn't part of that group. He became his own person. They even retconned Return of the Jedi that he's there in the mm -hmm. Battle on Endor. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think Captain Rex, I think, deserves to be there. Um, the T-Rex. I mean, I, I would probably would have put him on my... Uh, top five if he was able to be himself, but Mace Windu, if they would allow Samuel Jackson just Mace Windu is a good choice. You know, it's still a good character. It's actually still one agree. of the yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a good character. He was a positive character to make the prequels and Like I actually was, it was one of the reasons why I liked the prequels because Samuel Jackson did a great job of Mace Windu, and I, I mean, would like to see more. Um, I would, I would love a whole like series yeah, of him I in the backstory. So. You he know survives, I mean? and we, he, you know, what if he survives and pops up in Obi Wan? Well, well, he well, presented some good ideas himself to, to like, like a prequel too. That, that he would uh, like to come back as a guy with no arm. Oh, and, that would uh, be sick, or even a Force ghost. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Exactly. But uh, okay, I'm gonna throw one last one out there, and then we're gonna talk because I, I feel like. I, I, I'm surprised no one said this, and I wish I thought about it earlier, which is Cad Bane. Um, yeah. That was one, of the coolest, more, yeah. one of the coolest characters that's ever existed in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. For sure, uh, for sure. Very Clint Eastwood. 
Uh, perfect for caps. See, I just realized, I, 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 uh, JD, I think you're the only one that's read the books with, with me as well, aren't you? Yeah, uh, nobody on earth has read the books. I appreciate you I mean, being here, JD. No, I mean, <laughs> the, if, if I can just say one more, you got to say the guy that started the extended trilogy, like the whole extended universe, you got to put in Thrawn. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering if Thrawn was coming, but Thrawn's also part of Ahsoka's story too. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So original Thrawn and retcon Thrawn, but yeah. Yeah. Retcon Thrawn. Yeah. Retcon Thrawn. That's how they didn't mess that up. If you want to go to the con then, with retcon Thrawn. So then I just got to get this out there for myself. Okay, I want to put this out, out there for yourself. Yeah. Sorry. I got to put out Darth Bane and Darth Z- uh, uh, Zana. I, mm-hmm. I, I know a lot of you guys aren't going to know, but Rula those two. Are, Oh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. And that's where that started, too. See, this so, is the problem, though. They're all retconned now. I know. It's all legends it's still, now, yeah. So I tried, to stick, I tried to stick with... Yeah, but your characters are useless canon. now. You, I, want, I want you to sleep at night knowing that they don't matter anymore. I don't care. Shut up. They're my <laughs> old, young girl. They're part of my adolescence. And, uh, young adult, You're so. still in your adolescence. You just happen Shout to be Shout out to Slice Noodles and Droopy McCool. And believe me, I'm not even done. Yeah. I literally have four Max Rebo. Books. Max Rebo. And the jizz band. Shout out to the jizz band. band. Um, well, this got demonetized. Okay, so <laughs> it was never monetized. Uh, so let's let's. I want to talk about why you have Qui Gon Jin. Tell me about some Qui Gon Jin. Um, Qui Gon Jin was that first character that was on screen as a gray Jedi. He was not evil, but he was not fully part of the Jedi Order. That's why he never had a. He never had a seat on the council because he always was going against their wishes. He was kind of like a rogue Jedi and he's the one who trained Obi-Wan. So one of the greatest Obi-Wan turned out to be a rogue Jedi almost himself. So So you could see the influence in Obi-Wan that Qui-Gon had, like Qui-Gon was the first person to become a force ghost. He was the first person to like see what Anakin was able to become. I Qui-Gon does not get enough love and it's Liam Mm -hmm. Neeson. He, I want, I want to jump in I, I've got on my own. And he mentions. uses a Gillette razor as a communicator. <laughs> right, exactly. I put in my own mentions. And so when you named him, it didn't, it didn't actually surprise me, though it did surprise me to see on the list, though. But um, yeah, the reason I, I say is because here's the thing being a fan for so long, when you first see the original movies and then the prequels came out, even though Phantom Menace is a train wreck, Qui Gon, I will say at least, presented himself in a Jedi way, even though he was in that gray area. That where that we were always imagining in our heads that the, the Jedi would be reading the books, playing the games. So he did a good job of portraying that, and then p- p- making oh, making us understand Obi Wan a lot better. Like I had to say, but I, I feel like even with Obi Wan, even though um, he did a great job playing Obi Wan, I feel like Qui Gon Jinn had a lot to do with, with Liam Neeson had a lot to do with helping Obi Wan, helping us get comfortable with that version of Obi Wan because we were so used to the old one. So that when he took over. There was, there, there, we were literally like, that's Obi Wan. Well, think about it. Obi Wan and 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 Luke kind of mimicked the same path. Mm-hmm. Oh, Qui Gon was a father figure to Obi Wan, and mm-hmm. to lose someone like a father figure at that young of an age, just like Luke grew up without a dad, like their stories kind of like flow in the same direction. Mm-hmm. So as Obi Wan became like a father figure, almost a brother to Anakin, Qui Gon was that to Obi Wan. So mm-hmm. I think you could see a lot of parallels there. Um, yeah, I, I would. I, I, there's a, a something I'd like to argue too. Sure. We don't even know Obi Wan until the prequels. Um, and it's funny because coming into that, like, and we'll get to this discussion later in another video that's coming on Putty's channel. Um, but I think that. A lot of people went in there and were like, oh, that's not my Obi-Wan. You knew Obi-Wan for literally 20 minutes. Yeah, so true. who's yeah. your Obi-Wan? Yeah. Like, you and McGregor, I'm sorry, he is, is, Obi-Wan. is Obi-Wan. Yeah. Yeah. But see, but see what the reason, and I think JD would agree with me on this. If you're one of those people that were deep into the lore outside of the movies, when we saw, we were, we had that concern of who was going to take on the role. You know what I mean? Because Alec McGinnis is, or Alec Guinness is like, the, you know, the, the original for us. So, but then there was the whole story that happened within the books and the comic books and so forth. So to see someone play that role, you're like, you got to pull this off. And Ewan did it. He did it perfectly in my eyes. Yeah. That was the thing, though. I, when I saw that first movie, it helped 
Qui-Gon was the reason why I felt like that helped because Qui-Gon kind of showed us what Ewan's going to pull off by being that 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 gray yeah. area that Obi-Wan ends up being between both. Because you gotta remember, even in that area, Obi-Wan, you know, tried to even say your 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 father, Anakin, is a good person, but he fell to the dark side and became Darth Vader. And that was what he you can tell Obi-Wan was always kind of in that gray area anyway, even in the, the original movies. So to see Qui-Gon was that inspiration and it really helped out. And I, again, I agree with JD. I feel like a lot of appreciation didn't go to those two characters in Phantom Menace because Phantom Menace was a train wreck. But them two characters alone, uh, when they were just by themselves, was really I want to make sure that fight scene with Darth Maul. Oh I, I want to make yeah. sure I take notes on every single time you guys said train wreck now for the next video. He said it. I haven't said it at all. You said train wreck. No, I didn't. Did he not say train wreck, buddy? I'm, 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 I, I, go yeah, back I, and watch this. I go back. Okay, somebody it. go back. Let us go know. Go back and anything. watch this. Every time, every time they anything, say train wreck, I've maybe said it once, but that's it. But that's also, but this, here's my thing. Though. I still like the prequels. I'm just saying compared to the other ones, it's not, it's the lowest in the total. They're not as strong, but. Yeah, yeah, but no, I mean, they're not good. Um, but I think the way they fleshed out Obi Wan's character over yes, the prequel trilogy was so much better. Things, this is another issue that I think matters going into that. The prequels were basically a redo with new elements of the original trilogy, but then the sequels are also a redo of the original trilogy with different <laughs> elements. Um, anyways, so uh, I have Chewbacca. Did anyone else have Chewbacca? Yeah, I actually. Well, the, we, we, the, the the combination that was my number three with Han Solo. Yeah, I actually put him honorable mentions as he, as you said, you, uh, uh, JD. I agree. When I did my honorable mentions, I put Chewbacca and Han Solo on the same line. Like you can't have one without the other because you can. Outside, and I'll explain well, they did it continue. one time. They did it one time in the prequels, but you didn't really have oh. Chewbacca. It was a moment with Chewbacca that you also with have Yoda. him in the sequels without Han Solo for the whole rest of the sequels. Yeah, and it still feels missing. Okay, but I, this is where I'm going to go. Okay, so this is why I have Chewbacca on, and I'll explain this. This is not an argument of why you're stupid. I'll make that at another time. Um, so, oh. yeah, I believe we, we're used to it. Sorry, ADA. Um, so this is what I, what I'm saying. Chewbacca, throughout the entire thing, is as strangely as it sounds, he's what humanizes the story. He's like the you character that's riding along with them because he doesn't say much. He's just kind of there. He keeps getting caught up in all this mess that everyone's creating for him. He's like, "Why the hell am I here?" He's like, Rrr. "And and Han Solo's like, yeah, for the viewer, yeah." And ha and Han Solo's like, "Oh, chill out, Chewie." But meanwhile, Chewie's like, "Let me the fuck off this thing because we're all gonna die." See, I would argue that C three PO would be the avatar for the viewer, but C three PO is serves more of his kind of own storyline where Chewbacca doesn't have a storyline. Like, That's reason. There's moments with C three PO. Hold on, I'll let you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But you get Chewbacca in the in the prequels. You get Chewbacca in the sequels. And I would say the first time that I actually felt emotion in Star Wars with somebody dying was when I thought Chewbacca died in the explosion. I actually mm. was like, "Holy fuck!" Because I agree. Everyone, nobody has ill will towards Chewbacca. Think about no, it. Have you ever Chewie. met somebody yeah. who's like hates Chewbacca? And that for me, it was like you gotta, you just love him. Every he's so iconic, and well, I he don't like Han Solo. Well, I don't like. Say, I don't really like any of the main characters. No, I get it. I get it, and I understand that myself. But I want to say this, and I'm I'm glad you brought this up. The thing is, when we get to the, the other video and everything, but when we get to the movie Rise of Skywalker, spoiler alert: if you haven't seen the movie, but I'm just going to say it. I cried when he finally got his medal, and I don't think people See, understand. But that's how another big it was. thing. Exactly. There's another whole another moment. Exactly. Yeah. Like that's a moment that you don't. A lot of people never. When Christ, I was even R two D two got a medal in that one. Yeah, I know, right? But my point is is a lot of fans that I saw when I saw it in theaters that day, the opening night, I remember no one reacted. Like, I was teared up. I looked around. I'm like, why is no one reacting to him getting a medal? Do you guys not get the understanding of how no. great that is? Because people didn't put it together that he didn't get a medal in New Hope. Well, there's Luke and there's Han Solo getting a medal. And that's just a deep cut of something that, even though the movie, well, we'll get to that later, how I feel about the movie. But when it comes to- Is it to a train the, wreck? <laughs> I'm not, I've already, I'm not going to, I've already pulled that. I'm not going to do it anymore. Anyway. But yeah, it's just I teared up to finally see him to get what he deserves, and that's because I I, I agree with uh, uh, John on this campo that you, there, there's been a lot of times that Chewie hasn't got what he deserved as far as any positive. Now, Chewie know. doesn't you, get the love. You yeah, overlook exactly. him because he's not a main story point ever. But when you mm -hmm. really like pay attention to the character, he's so important to everything that's happening. 
And exactly. he, he has zero of his own storyline at all. He's the reason why the Millennium Falcon is still yeah. uh, airworthy. Yeah, yep. in Solo, he kind of has a storyline. Yeah, kind of, yeah, but it's still kind of murky, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, okay, so I, I want to bring up another one on my list, if that's sure. okay with everybody. Sure, sure. So I have General Grievous. And yeah. um, no one else even did anyone even have him on honorable mention? It's honorable mention. I still got, I, I guess, yeah, okay, so I do too. It, it, I mean, it kind of applies to Darth Maul too, but I'll let somebody else talk about Darth Maul if they want. Uh, Grievous is like he's just such an intriguing character. There's so much to him, and they don't tell you if you've never read the books or whatever, which I understand you guys have. There's there's no nothing to know about him, they don't tell you anything. Mm, yeah. You're like, That's why right. does he cough? Why is he this? Why does he have lightsabers? Why is he like have Jedi powers, but he's not a Jedi or a Sith? And he's a main character well, whose backstory was not really. Yeah, and I find it so mm-hmm. intriguing. There's so much mystery around him, and he's so cool. He's just so cool. Correct Go me ahead. if I'm wrong. I don't think he's got any Jedi. No, he's, he's not no, he Jedi doesn't. powers, but he was trained by uh, the, uh, to, yeah. to uh, fight in a Jedi. Okay, Jedi. so yeah, and the, lightsa- and the lightsabers he owns are Jedi lightsabers of Jedi he's killed. Okay, so oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I know that. which makes it even cooler. It's just like you're adding to the layer. Cool. And I, I think his fight scene in uh, Isaac Clone Wars, Attack of the Clones, Attack of the Clones, yep. with uh, Obi Wan, it, it's so amazing. Oh, that's uh, see, that's Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith. It, it, yeah. yeah. It, oh yeah, yeah. It's Sorry, such yeah, a good. It, it's it so is. underrated. To me, that's the second best lightsaber fight scene, other than the Darth Maul scene. And I even like the throwback to the original, like a new hope line when he blasts him and he goes, Oh, so uncivilized. And he throws the gun, right? Which is a throwback to the line, a more yeah. elegant weapon for a more civilized age. He's like, uh, he's like my Cad Bane before I knew who Cad Bane was. Makes sense. Because he's yeah. just like a, a, a supreme badass that just. Like you, when he was coming, no one wanted to be around him. They were all he like, kills indiscriminately. Kill yeah, yeah, and it was just like so cool. Anyways, yeah, pass it on. The only character I have left that's not in like the actual story, well, out of sight of Boss, because I put Boss on here because of his stories in the books, is Fennec Shand. I know that she's part of the Book of Boba Fett, but honestly, she was the only the reason I actually liked that when she was connected to the Mandalorian. Again, it, it's low on my honorable mentions, but I actually like me not when playing that character, and I feel like it was great. Yeah, so uh, actually, like a great the person, like she's so good in that movie. Yeah, I agree. She's good in I Bad mean, Batch show, as sorry. well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Whatever of course, little yeah. she's in in Bad Batch, she's good in that too. Like if anybody's watched Bad Batch, I'm not a big fan of Bad Batch. Uh, it's hit and miss. It, well, yeah, I found it, it really boring. It didn't really like. It didn't really go anywhere. You watch all the no. episodes. You're like, okay, what was? The it didn't feel. It didn't feel like it, yeah. it continued the love that. Clone but uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a cool character, and and I think that she does justice to the character for sure. I'd like to see more of her backstory too. See what she's all mm-hmm. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, hundred percent. I, I would love to uh, see um, a story developed of how the dark side started, and and start seeing some of those characters. Yeah, like the first like Jedi Darth that Plagueis went dark and. Yes, are, are they originally, Darth Plagueis was just reached out. I was wondering. But if we originally, there would have been no dark side people, right? They would have all came. The beginning would have been just Jedi's. Yeah, but I just would love to see how that story. Are, are they doing something? I, I heard there's something about the High Republic that they're doing. Right? That was that I was supposed so. to be the next trilogy, I think, and then it kept getting delayed. I don't even know if it's happening. Right now, in terms of movies, I don't know anything happening. I think in it's Star just Wars. the Rogue, the Rogue Squadron one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's With, the only uh, one that's been on that. Yeah. Jenkins or whatever. Patty Jenkins, yeah. But that's Which, a ways off. She's doing that after Wonder Woman three, isn't it? I don't know, but that does seem like an interesting movie. I won't lie. When when I saw her little trailer thing for it, where she was talking yeah. about it, I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Base a movie around Wedge. I'd watch it. I know, right? Oh, and uh, 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 what was um, uh, um, what was the two characters that they? Well, I know they made a series that made jokes about it. And they it was the comics. I can't think of them, but they're both pilots. No, some, yes, yeah. it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, I can't think of their names now. The two stormtroopers. Yeah, Gary Jason and... Biggs and the pie fucker. Yeah, there you go. Is wait, he is the he is <laughs> James Vanderbeek. <laughs> James Vanderbeek. You're you're the pie fucker. Always goes back to the pie. <laughs> they don't know yeah. me for anything else. I was in loser. <laughs> Um, filmed here in Toronto. Hey, at least it still kind of connects to Star Wars when it comes to Kevin Smith. So, all right, okay. So, I, no one wants to say anything, so I'm gonna just I, say another one. 
Uh, sure. No one has Lando. Uh, he was one of my top honorable, honorable mentions. I just didn't mention it because you mentioned him in your list. So I won't exactly. I told you I was deleting stuff that you took. Yeah, yeah. Says, well, uh, yeah. Lando, like both versions, both. Uh, Once again, uh, just a cool even, character. Even mm-hmm. Danny, uh, Danny, uh, Danny Glover, Donald, Donald Glover. I Donald agree. Glover's, oh, my God. Yeah, he Donald was Glover's like, um, kind of exploration of the character, because we didn't really get that much of it in the original trilogy. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. It yeah. made me like the character more to the point that when we see him in the sequels, I I, it was, I popped. I was like, yeah! yeah. When I saw Lando, I was like, yeah, let's mm-hmm. go. Well, it was one of the reasons I was excited I to see it. Every, well, yeah, but well, I, I can't remember what it was, but he actually uh, he made a joke about it, or he did a sketch on, I can't remember what, where I talk about, but Don, uh, um, uh, uh, Donald Glover actually said that a lot of people had referenced him, you know, being a lot like, even uh, in the real life, uh, being a lot like Lando. So, of course, when they were going for the role and everything, I think he was the first one they talked to about it. And again, it was the only reason why I was so excited to see the movie. Actually, I did not go see that movie for Solo himself. I went to see it because Donnie, Donald Glover was playing Lando. And of course, I was surprised the guy that played Solo was good. You know what I mean? Um, even though I feel like the story might have been lacking, but uh, yeah, it, it was. So again, he was the he was the reason why I felt. I, I would I would I would like to see Disney Plus do like a little backstory solo uh, a story on Lando. I would, I'd watch that. Well, like see, you, how he acquired Cloud City or something. You have him yeah. too at at a point now where he's a little bit older, even so you can. It's we're past the point of Solo now, so we're yeah. somewhere between Solo and when he gets Cloud uh, City. See, Cloud City. See, that's. Well, see, that's why I want to jump into this because the thing is, I, I know a lot of people like Solo, and I actually still like Solo, but I want to say this. I always felt Solo really was one of those things that should have been a Disney Plus series because I feel like they could have expanded and done, like, stories with Lando and Solo like they did, like, in the, like you know, like how they expanded the universe in the books and everything. Because I feel like, especially when you have Donald Glover and all these actors, it, it would have been much more, I think, better as a Disney Plus series and would have gotten a lot more love because I feel like they put too much in one story to get everyone together with with Lando and then of course some um, Chewbacca. Well, Give us a little. I think time there's other on. issues than that, but we'll save that for your video. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to get deep into that kind of stuff. But I mean, does anyone else have anything they really want to talk about? Because I don't want to drag this out forever. I got one more on yeah, mention. Um, not necessarily the character, but the person that played the character, Nally Portman. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> that doesn't count. Uh, um, erroneous. Yeah, erroneous on both accounts. I'll, I'll just throw these uh, out there for the the, the 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 deep geeks. So just so I can put it out there, just because I want to. Uh, Jason Solo, uh, John Solo, and of course Mary Jade. Those are the only ones I can say out there that I want to put out there as uh, uh, characters that I loved in the books and so on. Extended universe. So Janus, sure. Jonas, and Anus. That, yeah, My name is go. Jonas. <laughs> nice. Yeah, exactly. Little Weezer there for you. If you want to destroy my, my sweater. sweater. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, I don't know. That's immediately, immediately what I think of when I think of Weezer. It's the greatest song of all time. Um, that's it. Yeah, all right, we're leaving. For me. Guys, let us know who your favorite is in the comments below. It's going to be a trifecta. There's going to be a trifecta of videos, the green album, or maybe the blue one. Yeah. Um, it is. It's going to be a trifecta. Of like, one. All well, there's going to be a trifecta of videos. Uh, there's JD's going to have a video about the top five games. Putty's going to have a video about the tier listing of Star Wars franchise. So check it out on all other channels. I'll put it in the description and uh, peace out.